winter outfits for 2021 with a sprinkle of French style chic. If you're wondering how to add a sprinkle of Parisian vibe into your outfit ideas this winter 2021, then this video should help. I'll be sharing my tips and tricks and lots of outfit ideas to achieve a little French style chic in your looks this winter. Also, a portion of this video has very kindly been sponsored by my favorite luxury watch brand, Nordgreen. I shall be integrating this beautiful watch into my outfit ideas today and telling you a little bit more about the brand a bit later in this video. But first, outfit number one. Obviously, throughout this video, I am having to generalize, but I think it's fair to say that French women do have that effortless style down to a T. And while their essence is often mysterious, it's not altogether unattainable. I've been a big fan of French style for as long as I can remember, and I've managed to glean out what it is that makes French women look so chic. And the first tip I would say is to take a really good look at your color palette. One thing I notice time and time again is that Parisian women rarely wear bright tones. Everything is pretty muted, neutral, and elegant. Think about utilizing the browns, grays, and beiges you might have in your own wardrobe, and you'll be on the right track. Though I do see a sprinkle of red from time to time, and as you can see, I am sporting a little bit of that today. Once you've got the hang of the look, you can start experimenting and adding pops of color into the mix but to begin with I would play it safe and just get that core rail of beautiful neutral tones in place and you'll find it will make creating your outfit ideas so much easier I once went to a beautiful Italian wedding in the hills of northern Italy. I wore a pretty skirt, a matching top, and it had all these lovely gentle frills with little lace detailing. Flat sandals on my feet, and I think I may have even completed this look with my hair in pigtails. It was a very pretty and cute outfit, and as I realized upon my arrival, I was completely underdressed. Italian women, it seemed, really loved to get dressed up. I have never been surrounded by such a glamorous crowd of women all towering over me in their six inch heels. But while the Italians embrace a little bit of extravagance and look incredible doing it, the French seem to go the opposite way. They prefer to tone everything down and focus on the simplicity. Beautiful fabrics, a cut that's just so, neutral tones that blend together perfectly. It's that understated elegance shining through. They don't look like they've tried too hard and inevitably that oozes effortless chic. So if you're wanting to style a Parisian vibe into your outfit ideas this winter, one of the main tips would always be to focus on those simple things. What's the item been made from? Will it last? Does the cut of the item feel chic and elegant? How does it drape? Can you walk easily in it? How does it feel against your skin? And focusing on those minute details will no doubt help you start to look at clothes in a really different way. Probably buying less, but buying much better. Thinking about the beauty in the simplicity, that brings me to Nordgreen, a luxury minimalist Scandinavian watch brand I have the great pleasure of working with again. Their whole aesthetic is about focusing on those core elements that really makes their watches stand out from the rest. I have quite a few of their watches now and I have to say the quality is impeccable. Whether you go for leather, gold, interchangeable straps and a gift box, I always know that they'll be understated, elegant, and complement all of my outfit ideas. For this video, I decided to go for the Philosopher watch in gold, in the largest 40 millimeter size with a brown leather strap. Just a quick peek at the color palette in my own wardrobe, and I knew these tones would integrate beautifully. To celebrate Black Friday, Nordgreen are also offering some amazing discounts at the moment. And if you use my discount code JESS35 at checkout, you will receive 35% off whatever you choose. I actually bought one for David last Christmas as a gift and he wears it daily. On top of all that beautiful quality we've come to expect from Nordgreen, their commitment to sustainability and being ethical as a company is always really impressive. From their packaging, carbon neutral shipping and giving back program, providing thousands of pounds to NGOs around the world. Having a beautiful timepiece can often be the perfect finishing touch to an outfit. And combined with a company that actually takes action to be better, 
makes it a brand that I'm always happy to support. So at the end of this video, do follow the link in the description box below and view the collection for yourself. Not forgetting that discount code if you do decide to spoil yourself or someone else. When I think about how to add a bit of French style chic into my outfits this winter, there's a few pieces that immediately spring to mind. Items I know I can reach for quickly that are often my go-to when I'm creating this look. So I thought you might find it helpful if I made a bit of a capsule wardrobe of all my Parisian vibe essentials. French women would probably say the humble blazer is one of their wardrobe staples. They're often boxy in shape and in winter wool in fabric. Thankfully you don't need a trip to Paris to pick one up, there are lots of beautiful options across the high street. Like we mentioned earlier, I would stick with a pretty timeless and neutral palette and keep an eye out for the best quality that's within budget. I reach for layers when it's cold and a simple tee underneath if it's mild and it always makes me feel stylish and polished. I tend to choose oversized options that will cover my bum, and with a side note of giving me a sprinkle of Parisian style while I do it. No brainer with this one, and of course being particularly on trend this season, there are about 20 different ones I would recommend available to buy right now. Obviously you could go traditional cream and navy, which is what I seem to have the most of, or mix it up a little bit with a sprinkle of deep red like the one I'm wearing, or camel stripes even. I love the quaint buttons on my more fitted Breton top. It adds a little vintage touch, and when I'm craving the feel of cottons against my skin, I'll always opt for this version. When it's particularly cold, I do a bit of layering with mine, and even when I'm particularly covered up in a big wool coat, just seeing that touch of stripe peeping through gives a nod to the Parisian look. When I think about the knitwear that I mostly spot on French women, it would either be a roll neck jumper or a snuggly cardigan. So in the interest of lots of outfit ideas, I've added both into my French style capsule wardrobe. No one wants to look like the marshmallow man in their winter wardrobe, and there's definitely an art to getting it right and keeping warm. With cardigans, you've got a few different options. Let it fall off your shoulder for an understated sexiness, tuck it in or do a bit of a half tuck to accentuate your waistband, and a trick I learned from the French, wear your cardigan backwards to maximize outfit ideas. It shows a little skin, but in a really subtle way. Now a great roll neck jumper not only adds a bit of a Parisian style to your outfit, ideas but it's also hugely practical at the same time. Keeping it sleek and refined and opt for one that's fairly tight fitting. I mostly style mine with jeans and a blazer for low-key chic or as an extra layer underneath a cardigan too. Are you even Parisian if you don't have at least one beautiful winter coat in your wardrobe? I'm not Parisian at all actually, but I am trying to keep up in the lovely coat department. Said with a wink of course, but if there's one thing that always stands out a mile with French women, it would be their effortlessly chic selection of wool coat. Play it safe with all the neutral shades and you'll find that those pieces will transcend the trends and forever work in your capsule wardrobe. The longer the shelf life, the less your cost per wear. In this footage, you'll see some of my own favorites I plan on wearing through the streets of Paris in a couple of weeks time. And I'll link some new in favorites in the description box too. Whether you decide to go flowing and draped or structured and polished, the choice is yours. Just keep your eye out for those interesting cuts that will stand the test of time. For this department, I've kept things minimal with just three essential pairs. One pair of ankle boots, high enough to give me a little height, but not so high that I couldn't walk in them all day long. While I do love a pointed toe shoe, I see round toe options on the streets of Paris the most. Paired with crop jeans, blouses, and maybe a cardigan layered over the top. Now there's nothing chic or effortless hobbling about on heels that are very obviously killing your feet. And French women know this all too well only opting for high heels that they know they can actually walk in. So if they're just not your thing and you struggle to walk like a sane human being in them, I would advise giving them a miss. If, however, you have trained your feet well to cope with the pain without grimacing, then great, go for it. I love this look, and while I wouldn't say I'm exactly comfortable in them, 
I'm happy to suffer in silence for the height. With an internal sigh of relief for this final pair of shoes, I'd add into my French style capsule wardrobe a lovely pair of flats. Like with ankle boots, the French generally love a rounded toe belly flat, but I'm personally really loving my pointed toe versions at the minute, so I'm going to freestyle with those instead. Next on my French style rail would be a great fitting pair of jeans. The French do love a pair of Levi 501s and if you're hunting for some, I would highly recommend the secondhand store in Parfait Paris who have an amazing selection. If like me, you don't already have a pair of 501s, I would say stick with something straight and possibly crop too. The idea with jeans is to feel a teeny bit sexy, but not overtly so. You need to feel comfortable to look it, and the more worn in and vintage the jeans, the better. Forget about what's on trend in jeans and go with the shape and style that suits you best. Then when you add the rest of the combo with your button top and your winter coat, for example, the overall effect will hit the mark. Whatever look you're trying to achieve, I would always recommend having a great pair of tailored trousers in your wardrobe. These are my favorite that I've been wearing on repeat a lot recently. One, because I love that deep charcoal tone, and two, I just love the fit. Loose, but not too loose. Tailored, but not trying too hard. They really give off that French chic vibe that I'm often aiming for. And finally, on this essentials rail, I've added a mini skirt. It's something I've seen in street style Paris looks a lot. And while I wouldn't say it's personally a favorite of mine, I would say it looks particularly French. And as a bonus, it is hugely on trend this season too. Style with a chunky knit or a cardigan, tights and ankle boots to give it more of a relaxed vibe, and you get extra points for choosing one in tweed. I found quite a few I loved recently across the high street, so I'll make sure I link those in the description box too. I'm imagining lots of you already know a lot of the French fashion rules already. And one of my favorites is to forget what's on trend or not and just focus on what suits you. What makes you feel really comfortable and what is the most flattering on your shape. And in turn, that then makes your winter outfit options really vast. I love and feel nice in a pair of flares. So I might style that with a simple blouse on my top half, give myself a little bit of height with my ankle boots, and throw on a blazer and a scarf for added warmth. And ultimately, what I've created is a really simple outfit, but one that is very much my own personal style. I wouldn't say I look particularly on trend, but it doesn't look old fashioned either. I know it's tempting, but try not to overthink it. If you're tottering around in your heels or feeling conscious of how tight your trousers are, you've probably not got the outfit combination right. Does it flatter you? Do you feel nice? Can you walk easily? And are you warm enough? Start there and the rest should fall into place. Which ties in nicely to my next point, making sure you've got the balance right. We all want to look chic, not just French women, but you have to level that with practicality, certainly in winter. Finding the right combination that makes you feel stylish and chic while still keeping warm can feel daunting. But once you've got the hang of it, you'll be able to do it without even thinking about it. Take this outfit idea, for example. Say this is what I want to wear to go out to meet some friends for lunch, but we're shopping and it's cold outside. How can I make it work? I could switch out those flats and wear my ankle boots instead. The style is very similar and I don't think anyone would even notice the difference. I could add in a bit of layering to give me some more warmth or opt for one of my wool coats over the top or with a combination of layers. And don't forget your accessories too. A simple scarf can actually elevate a look even further and obviously give you extra warmth if needed. Now my outfit still has the same Parisian vibe as before. It still feels like me, but I'm dressing much more appropriately for the weather. And to be honest, it's far easier to look put together and polished when your teeth aren't chattering because it's so cold. French women have mastered the art of high-low dressing to perfection. Casually slinging a beautiful Chanel bag over their shoulder to complete a really laid-back look. But the trick to getting this style right is to look like you haven't thought about it too much. There's a chic, disheveled look about French style that I love so much. The hair looks like they rolled out of bed like that. The makeup, a little smudged, could easily have been from last night. But don't be fooled, that high-low combination will have been well thought through. They've just 
not at the art of making it look natural. Perfection is boring anyhow, so think about leaving your hair a little windswept, wear a cosy knit with your jeans, add an aesthetic high with a lovely pair of shoes, or maybe a beautiful handbag. The golden rule, however, is one part high to two parts low. That's a simple tip to follow until you get the hang of it. Then you can start playing with the idea even more. That was a lot of outfit ideas and a lot of information, but hopefully it's given you a really good insight into what I think makes French women look so chic. And of course, the pieces I reach for when I'm trying to emulate the look. Don't forget, I have linked all the outfit ideas in the description box below. You just press tap more to open it. And there you will also find a link to Nordgreen's website and that discount code as well. Lots of great offers on there. Have a wonderful week, everyone, and hopefully you will join me next week for lots more outfit ideas and inspiration. See you then.